Okay, if you know anything about smart plugs, you've probably seen these Tekken smart plugs. Now, there is two different types. There is uh, the round one, which uh, we've just had a quick look at in another uh, video, and there's the square one. Now, uh, what's the difference between these? Well, when you sort of read about this one, it's saying they've modified the shape so that it sort of it can fit in with the interfering with the switches, you know, your actual on off switch for the socket. This one does do that on a couple of my sockets, but when you push it in, it forces a switch to on, which you want anyway. You don't really want to be flicking these on and off, so it defeats the purpose of having a, a, a smart socket. So, um, is there a difference between them? Well, the, these ones used to be a wee bit cheaper. I've noticed that these ones seem to be coming down in price. There is one difference between these, and that is this one has a bit more functionality. This one is great, it can be triggered, it can be switched on and off. It is basically a switch. This one, this allows you to see how much power, whatever you have plugged into it, it will show you how much power it's drawn and it will keep that record and you can trace back how much power is getting pulled through this socket. This one doesn't have that capability. So if I just quickly go in to the socket that which I installed the last time, in the last video, which was this round one, I'm just going to show you the difference between the apps. So let's have a look. Let's uh, take a look at the Smart Life app. And we'll go in and you shall see round socket one, which is the round socket. And from this, you can see it's off at the moment. I can switch on, off, right. But what I've got is switch one. And I just switch it on and off. I've got uh, left time so that you can put a, a timer on there to switch off like after an hour or something. I just want that on for an hour. I'll switch that. You can set that timer up and then it, once it reaches zero, it'll switch it off. And then you've got scheduling, which you can add a, a schedule for the socket. And that's it, that's all you can do. Now you can integrate it into scenes and stuff, so when a light comes on, this will come on or off or whatever you want it to do. But that that is it for the socket itself. So if I go into one of my square sockets, which would be this one, the computer. So this is the one my computer runs on. And that's it's one of these one of these square ones. So yeah, you can use it um, to switch on and off. You can schedule. You can use it as a timer. But you've got this additional section, statistics. So when we press that, it lets you see the power usage of my computer for the whole year, just about. Uh, you can see how many kilowatts it's been drawn. Quite a lot. And if you click on any month. I'll click on May, it will show you the day-to-day -day use. So the computer's pulling, you know, from about 2.3, away up to 3.7, kilowatt. So, yeah, that's it. And you've got your monthly total at the top. So it also shows you how many watts it's using, the current it's drawn at the moment, this is the, the bit at the top is live, so the bit in orange there is the live power usage, so you can see it's got the current 800 milliamps, I've got 161 watts, 170 watts, we're at 246 volts, and the total kilowatt hour usage since I started using that plug, which is quite considerable actually. Gonna have to get rid of that computer, that's uh, the only thing for it. So th this is actually really good. So if we go back to the main menu again and say we want to make something smart and we'd want an automation, we add a new automation um, and we're gonna select a device. So we see when device status changes and we pick on the round socket, we get this this is the owner selection, switch one, on or off. So when switch one, which is this one, so when that switch is on or off, we can make something happen. That, that's your choices for the round socket. If we go into the square one again, which is the computer socket, 
We've got switch, which is on or off, but we also have electricity, the actual amount of power that it's drawn at that time. We can set the current, we can set the power, yeah, that would be the wattage and the voltage. So what I've got for my computer is a, a, an automation when the current drops below 250 milliamps, then the computer's off at that point. So what happens is I have a, a, an extension lead into this socket, which I power my printer, my uh, monitor, um, there's the amplifier for the speakers, uh, there's a few other things, uh, a few drives and all the rest, all the stuff that sits around about your computer. Uh, when this when this socket is drawing less than 250 milliamps, it will automatically switch off, which then switches off all the other stuff around about my computer. And I have everything plugged into that except for my router, so that that remains on. Um, and that is the beauty of these plugs. These can be, these are a lot smarter in that you can have integrations that work just with a plug. It's just when the condition of the plug changes, it can do something. Whereas this has to be an on or an off. If the plugs are switched off, then something can happen or vice versa, this can be switched on or off. I have one of these for my Chromebook and, and when the current drops below, I think it's uh, 25 milliamps, then it will actually switch off at the wall so that it's not charging consistently all day if I forget to, to unplug it. So basically, I just plug in my Chromebook, I can switch it on there and then, or it comes on automatically at a specific time. It will charge the Chromebook up. Once it falls below a certain amount, it just switches off and it's not sitting there trickle charging it for, for days or weeks. It saves me about 15 pence a year. But the thing is, it can actually do that. You can see that for not much more money, um, in fact, these ones come up cheaper sometimes if they're on special deal. So I keep my eyes open if you're, if you're wanting to play about with the actual plug. These are the ones to do if you want something really simple and just, you know, you don't need to think about. This is the one. This is really interesting and it lets you see how much power is getting drawn through it. This one doesn't have that capability. For me, at the beginning, the, the power usage was the thing that I was most interested in. I wanted to see how much power was getting drawn through and this one allows you to see that. So, generally, they are identical. It's just that extra functionality in the square plug. So, whichever one you choose, it will be a great choice. These are super good, super reliable. The only thing is the Smart Life app now no longer works with if this then that. So, you need to think about uh, how you want to integrate these into your house. And they no longer have the diversity that they did just a couple of weeks ago. So, um, think about that. Uh, as you're buying them. Smart Life app is really good and it's 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 functional. It was way more functional, but for whatever reason, they've taken a big chunk of that functionality out. So, choose wisely. And, uh, you know, my opinion would be, for me, these are the, the ones I would go for.